Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be looking at properties of relations. Now, the properties of relations we're going to be looking at here are reflexivity, symmetry, transitivity, and equivalence. The reason we're going to be doing this is because not only is this going to be really useful for us when we get to the last 10 days of logic and we're going to be looking at relations in logical terms, but it's also going to be useful to us for our understanding of Mariology and the Mariological ontological argument, the existence of God. So, let's get started. Now, what's a relation? A relation is a non-monadic predicate. What does that mean? That just means it's a predicate that covers more than one object. Being blue is a predicate that covers just one object, or it could cover more than one object, but it doesn't have to. However, being to the left of is a predicate that must be a relation, because you can't just have something being to the left of and not have something that it is to the left of. My pen can't just be to the left of. That doesn't make any sense. It has to be to the left of my desk, my computer, my hat, my dragon, whatever it is, there has to be something else involved in that relation. That's why we call it a relation. The properties of relations that we're going to be looking at are equivalent, reflexive, symmetric, transitive, irreflexive, non-reflexive, anti-symmetric, asymmetric, non-symmetric, intransitive, and non-transitive. Note that this isn't actually an exhaustive list because there's interesting combinations of these properties that get other names, but these are the basic building blocks that you need to understand these relations. Note, I'm not going to be talking about the mathematic properties of relations of sets that go by these exact same names, which are very similar and often get pretty confusing when you mix them up. I'm going to be talking about the logical predicate calculus versions of these properties of relations. That out of the way, let's get started. So, first one we're going to look at is symmetric. Relation R is symmetric if and only if. If X has relation R to Y, then Y has relation R to X. An example would be, is the sibling of. Is the sibling of is a symmetric relationship. If Joe is Bob's sibling, then Bob must be Joe's sibling. There's no way for Joe to be Bob's sibling and for Bob to not be related to Joe in any way. Next one we'll look at is transitive. Relation R is transitive if and only if. If X has relation R to Y and Y has relation R to Z, then X has relation R to Z. An example would be, is the descendant of, the transitive relationship. If Jane is Elizabeth's descendant, and Elizabeth is Marcia's descendant, then Jane is going to be Marcia's descendant. It has to be. If one is the descendant of the other, and that other is the descendant of the third, then the first is going to be the descendant of the third. Has to be transitive. Reflexive is going to be relation R is reflexive if and only if, for all x, x bears relation r to itself, or x bears relation r to x. Is the same height as is a reflexive relationship. All things are going to be the same height as themselves. This also works for is the same weight as and many other similar relations. We are also going to have asymmetric. Now, relation r is asymmetric if and only if if x has relation r to y, then y does not have relation r to x. It must not have that relation to x. Is the child of is going to be an asymmetric relationship. Because if Maria is Jeremiah's child, then Jeremiah cannot be the child of Maria. If the relationship is head in one direction, it cannot be head in the other. Antisymmetric is a really interesting one. Relation r is antisymmetric if and only if. If relation R is had by X to Y, and Y has relation R to X, then X and Y are identical. So, is greater than or equal to is an example of an anti-symmetric relationship. If a number X is greater than or equal to a number Y, and Y is greater than or equal to X, then X must be identical to Y. Because both the numbers can't be greater than the other, so the only thing they can be is equal to each other. They must be identical. This is an important relationship as we move forward into Mariology. 
Non-symmetric is another example of a property of a relationship. Relation R is non-symmetric, if and only if. Relation R is not symmetric, asymmetric, or anti-symmetric. An example of might be, is the brother of. It's going to be non-symmetric. Why? Because while Joe being the brother of John may mean that John is the brother of Joe, Joe being the brother of Jane does not mean that Jane is the brother of Joe. It's going to depend on something involved in the objects for the relation to be either symmetric or asymmetric. If we were only dealing with a population of all males, then it would be a symmetric relationship. But because we haven't put that constriction on our population, it's a non-symmetric relationship. Next up is an intransitive relation. Relation R is intransitive if and only if. If X has relation R to Y and Y has relation R to Z, then X does not have relation R to Z. Is the complementary color of is going to be an example of an intransitive relationship. As the complement of a complement is always going to go back to being that original color. Blue is the complement of orange, and orange is the complement of blue. But blue cannot be the complement of blue, because it can't be the complement of itself. So this relation is going to be intransitive. Things like opposites are going to also fall into this category of intransitive relationships. You also have non-transitive relations. Relation R is non-transitive if and only if. Relation R is neither transitive nor intransitive. Is the child of, contrary to popular belief, is going to be non-transitive. Why? Well, look at Oedipus. Antigone is the child of Oedipus. Oedipus is the child of Jocasta. And Antigone is also the child of Jocasta. Why? Because Oedipus married his mother and had children. A little bit of an odd case, but surely a possible one. However, also, Antigone is the child of Oedipus, Oedipus is the child of Laius, but Antigone is not the child of Laius. So, this is going to be a non-transitive relation, because it could either be the case that it's transitive or it's non-transitive, depending on how we limit our cases, so it's going to be non-transitive. Irreflexive relations. Relation R is irreflexive if and only if for all X, X does not bear relation R to itself. Is to the left of is an irreflexive relation, as nothing can be to the left of itself. Non-reflexive relations. Hopefully, if you've been paying attention, you can get a sense of what non-reflexive is going to be. Relation R is non-reflexive if and only if. Relation R is neither reflexive nor irreflexive. An example might be, is the grandfather of, is a non-reflexive relationship, as, while generally one isn't one's own grandfather, as we learned from Ray Stevens, one can be one's own grandpa. Check out the song if you don't know it. Finally, equivalent. Equivalent is a fantastic property of relations that we're often looking for when we're looking for kind of a relation, a strong relation. An equivalent relation is going to be one that is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Is congruent to is going to be an equivalent relation. Because it's reflexive, all things are congruent to themselves. It's symmetric, if some x is congruent to some y, then that y is congruent to that x. And it's transitive, if x is congruent to y and y is congruent to z, then x is going to be congruent to z. Therefore, it is an equivalent relation. That was equivalent, reflexive, symmetric, transitive, irreflexive, non-reflexive, anti-symmetric, asymmetric, non-symmetric, intransitive, and non-transitive. Those are a bunch of properties of relations. There's actually more properties depending on how you combine these different properties of relations in interesting ways. We're going to learn about one of them in our next video on Mariology. You should check that out if you want an understanding of how we can apply these properties of relations to a more tangible idea and philosophy. Watch this video and more at carnadies.org and stay skeptical everybody.